RSI indicator going back one year testing on Bitcoin. Let's go. We start with the settings. Okay. First of all, how to even get here? Click on indicator. Okay. Right here. And of course, you just search RSI. This is what I've done. Very, very simple relative strength index. Enter this one right here okay but then i changed the settings so it will look a lot better okay this is what i like this is much better what did i do click double click uh visibility i just put the days because i'm doing the one day daily chart according to the no nonsense forex way style uh change this one okay rsi i change this to green and I put this one at 100% and this one is here. Okay, very important. This one I changed to red and also 100% uh, and here. And of course, change those to, uh, to line. There we go. This wasn't the line at the beginning. Change to line this and this. Remove, remove. And in here, also very important, instead of 3070, I changed to uh, 8020. And the middle line I changed to 50 and I put it a little bold and I changed the color and there you go. Anything else that I got? Uh, everything else stays the same except from the moving average which I have changed to EMA as the, which is basically, uh, that's what I like. I like the EMA compared to the simple uh, exponential. I don't know. I like it better uh, to make better results okay click enter and of course i'm doing this the way that other people don't people usually tell you to sell here buy here all that stuff no for me uh the trade itself is only if the two lines are either above the 50 line okay the 50 line is the cutoff if both of them and are above but if we're above here both of them needs to be higher and the green needs to be above the red so that's one and the second option is both of them that's a signal i'm gonna show you in a minute and another way is if both of them are below hey below the 50 and the red is above the green that is it just like this one okay let me show you an example right here you see you go here we are above the 50, the green is above the red, and we just took the trade. This is a one year back test, okay? So you see here Monday, October 4th, and all this trade generate $15,000. I assume a $50,000 account. You can do whatever that you want, but I put $50,000. If you don't have it, there's an option to get up to 200,000 funded account with FTMO link below but it works with any amount either way 15,000 look at this beautiful we caught this whole move from 50,000 to 66 65 something like that and I close the trade when do you close the trade when we are even if we are above when the red crosses the green okay when the red crosses the green i close the trade that is it you made fifteen thousand dollars on that 33 uh, percent pretty insane let's uh check and there's a lot of uh small trades as well see here that's uh the green above the red that's a nice trade a lot of uh chopping in here i assume you have confirmation one confirmation two all the settings that I'm using to make, I don't know, 520% uh, ROI on Ethereum. Needs to check on other indices as well and crypto and Forex in the description below. You see, this is a small one, but that's another great win. Look at this, for example, 5,650 uh, bucks, which is about 11%. And if you see, we got in at like 56 and we got out exactly here at like 49.50 why because now we are below the yellow the 50 uh, the, the the white the 50 line below below but i'm looking for the red to be above the green 
that's how I do it. I make it simple. And you go and you go, you got yourself here, made 5,000, there was a small, small loss, small loss, another small win, uh, that's a nice win in here, okay, 5,400, this was a, g a good win, we got another 10%, you caught this whole red thingy from here, how did we do it, from right here, all the way here, and here another 6,000 red, both of them below the, the, the 50 line, and so I'm looking for short as long as the red is above the green. And we've uh, finally got it all the way here. And you exit when the red, when the green is above the red. That's it. That's your exit. Nothing special here. That's a little loss. That's fun. It's a lot of chops. So all those chops in here that you lose just by taking the RSI trade will go away if you use other indicators, as I said my settings is in the description. Uh, this was a nice win, another uh, 3,000 uh, bucks. There we go, 3,056. Why? Because we are above the 50 line and the green is above the red. So all this was a win and you got out in here. You didn't get out at the top, which is fine. You got out when the red crosses the green. That's it, super, super simple. Let's uh, see what else we got. Uh, this was a nice win, $8,000. Why? Again, short. We got this lovely short uh, when the red crosses the green and we are below uh, the 50 line. That's how I do it. That's how I do it. I need to calculate the exact amount. This was all chop. Okay. So if you're only using the RSI, you got to understand that you will have losses. You will have losses unless you add other confirmation uh, basically indicators to not take a trade just based on one thing and we got something uh, let's see what's the last trade this one like 1500 bucks this one 100 bucks 170 not a lot it's not a lot of trades some of them are choppy there's not big losses this is what I got for the RSI on Bitcoin the result will be in the description I will keep doing this for all the indicators that uh, people like for Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, EURUSD, uh, basically Japanese one, Japanese Yen USD, that's four, uh, QQQ is five, SPY is six, and Tesla is seven. At least that's my plan. Follow along. I'm trying to put this on a new channel because the other one is for crypto and airdrop. Let's start fresh, follow, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.